Hey guys, Tori from uh, McKenna Bill. This is part three of our series on building, calculating, and installing stairs. In our last two series, we first learned how to calculate the rise and run of our staircase to make it work out for our landing. Our second series, we talked about the tools necessary to do our layout, and then we proceeded to lay out a string and then cut it. Uh, since then, I have gone and I've cut the remaining pieces to complete this this particular stretch of stairs, which is I, I cut the other three stringers, I cut the two by four uh, piece that, that I mentioned before that fit in our notch that's going to lock the bottom of the stairs into the floor, and I cut the two by ledger that I'm going to use to attach to the to the side of the landing. You'll also notice here I've cut uh, what's called a strong backer. This is just a piece of two by four that's flush to the back of the stringer and flush to my, my vertical cut here and my horizontal cut at the bottom of the stringer. This particular set of stairs is called for a 16 inch layout. So I've marked where my stringers are gonna go. You'll see that I've already installed the two outside stringers into the set. The reason, I'll go back briefly, the reason for the strong backer is this spaces the stringer off of the wall an inch and a half. This allows for a half inch of sheet rock and three quarters inch of a skirt board that will slide behind the stairs and then you put your stair material up to that, whether it's carpet or hardwood or whatever other material. So I've already installed the two side stringers on our top and bottom. I'm now going to slide our middle stringers into place. It's going to slide right here on our layout. Pop down into place, just like so. flush with the top of the ledger. Do the other one while I'm here. stair stringer assembly. I'm now going to carry this over to where it gets installed in place and show you how it gets installed. which equals the five runs that we have for our stringer. So that's 50 inches away from our, our stringer, which I'm on that line there. I'm now able to line there, there, nailed here. I'm going to give this a tap down so it seats in against the landing.
completed set of stringers. The only thing that's left to be done now is to put the tread material on, uh, which the tread material is cut to the flush to the outside of the stringer, again leaving that inch and a half in between that and the wall. From here we'll go on to installing the decking on our landing and installing the other two runs of stairs to complete our stairs. Same basic process, we don't need to do that again. You can use these techniques whether you're doing a remodel job inside your house or if you're building a deck. Same basic concepts, minor differences, but this should give you the basics to be able to calculate, cut, and install your stringers. Appreciate you watching and uh, see you on the next series.